Hello everyone and welcome to another Blackboard Collaborate Ultra video. In this video, I will show you how to make your student the presenter. So if you have presentations, final projects, a discussion, or any time that a student wants to share a document with you, you can go ahead and do this to make them the presenter. Now, the first thing that you want to do is find that purple tab on the right hand bottom of the screen. That purple tab with those two white arrows those two white arrows. This is the Collaborate panel. You wanna go ahead and open the Collaborate panel. Once we do that, we'll see a few icons that we should be familiar with. The first is that little thought bubble that we all know as the chat box. Here, we can chat with everyone in the class. Here it says everyone. We can chat with other moderators. If we have another professor in the class who's joining us and might be a moderator as well, and we can also chat with students individually. So if a student is in the classroom, we are able to search for them and send them a message, hello, without anyone else in the class seeing those messages. I can then go back in that arrow at the top where it says student, and I can go back to my everyone chat where I can speak to the rest of the class. So if there's something I wanna say privately, I can do that. Now, the tab we're going to be working on in order to make students a presenter is that icon with those two little people. This is the attendees tab. When I go ahead and click on this little icon on this tab, I have a list of who is in the chat or in the classroom at the moment, right? First, I see who the moderator is, which is the professor. It is myself. And I see the participants. Now, in this case, I have one student. Now, students cannot do anything but participate when they are participants. This means we have to give them special privilege so they are able to use other features. In order for us to do that, we have to go to the name of the student we want to select and find that little circle with those three little dots. When we select that circle with those three dots, there are a few choices. The first is send a chat message. We will go to an individual message like that one I showed you previously with that student. Or we can make them the moderator. Remember, we do not want to do this because then they can end the class. We do not want to give them this privilege. The third privilege is the one we want to use. It is make a presenter. When we select Make Presenter, the student will have access to that Share Content tab, just like ours, here with a little square with the arrow, just like ours, where they will see Share Blank Whiteboard, Share Application Screen, and Share Files. They do not have access to polling or breakout groups because they are not the moderator. Only the moderator can do that, right? You can ask questions and you can break them out into groups. So they can share blank whiteboard, they can share application or screen, and they can share files. Now, I will put up a video just for the students and walk them through how to present. So I will not waste time in this video. However, once that student has finished presenting, we will go back to those two little dots if we are not there, and we will go back to that circle with those three dots and select it. We want to go back and make that student a participant so that they are not able to use those features any longer and do not disturb another presentation. Now, this is how we make a student a presenter. If you have any questions about this, please go ahead and ask. I would be more than happy to help you.